Hello my friends, welcome back. Today is day two and we're gonna focus on releasing the psoas or the hip flexor which can pull on the lower back and uh, cause excessive lordosis or arcing at the uh, lower back creating lower back pain. We're also gonna work on our core. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna need your yoga block and straps or any substitute you have and your mat. Sure. Are you ready? So, like usual, we we're gonna begin with our four moves, pelvis reset series. Grabbing your yoga block, lay down on the floor, bring bring your feet as close to your glutes as possible while remaining flat on the on the floor, bring that yoga blow, block lengthwise, squeeze, 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 contract your core, tucking your chin, lengthening your spine, rock your pelvis, not excessively swinging it, side to side, eight, seven, six, five, four, just enough to lift one head off the ground. Last one, both ways, release, bring that width, width, width wise, squeeze, keep the tension in the inner side, thighs activation, and rock for 10. And using your core, you should feel that heat already in your body. Four more, three, balance with your elbows, stabilize with your core. Release. Grab the strap and look at it just above the knee, cross it, lay down, nice eye tight, hold it with your arms and your core, push your knees out and rock from there. Just rubbing the hips enough to lift your head enough. Three, two, one, and release the, the strap. Keep the knees together. Get them to the glutes. Push to the push up to the bridge. Tuck in the chin. Open the top front of the core. Squeeze your glutes. Roll your head from side to side. Don't turn it. Just roll it. Bring your attention to your breath. Breathe in. Breathe in the new life. Exhale the old. New life in, old life out. Two, and one. And release. Place those props to the side. We're going to lay on our stomach and the first move from here, right hand, right hand under your head, place your hands on your ankle, not on your foot. You can take the knee out a little bit, not a lot, and push your pelvis into the ground. Lift your kneecap off the floor. So, lightly pull on the ankle, not on the foot, and, and start kicking the, the, the leg to the hand. You're going to feel more tension. So, if you want to feel more, more, uh, 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 Stretch, you can get the knee aligned with the hip. Hold the stretch. Modify as you need to. Either get it on the side or place it aligned with the hip. So don't hurt yourself. Uh, slowly take care of your body. One more deep breath and slowly release. So wiggle that leg and we're going to do the other side.
left hand under your head, place your other hand, so I'm going to keep your head, my head up to speak to you properly. You can use your strap to assist you if you want. Lift your knees, if you are really tight, just bring your, uh, your, bring your leg out a little bit. If you never worked on the top of, of the quad and so as before, if you have excessive low doses, this stretch is really going to benefit you. So push, push your pelvis on the floor, lifting the kneecap off the floor. Breathe in and kick, kick the leg into your hand. So we're trying to add some tension and charging the stretch with the resistance. Keep the pelvis pushing in the ground, lengthening through your spine, using that breath, and move the energy in your body. There's no stress in the lower back here, it's the glutes and the hamstring that are working. One more deep breath, and release, and wiggle that leg from the head, side to side. Now, now wiggle both legs, take a deep breath here, pelvis connecting into the ground, feet shoulder width apart, turn your uh, feet outward, so Squeeze all your muscles in your posterior chain. Squeeze and release. The move initiates from pushing your pelvis into the floor. So, you should go all the way down, but I'm not going all the way down because I have the mic. Squeeze the glutes together to lift your body up. One more, or, or ten more. Keep tucking in your chin. Don't, don't look ahead of you. Imagine you are reading a book and your eyes are on the mat. So your glutes are working. So. From the glutes, point the toes, and we're gonna do another five. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze all the muscles in your back body. Without feeling a pain in your lower back, so. Two, and last one. Go back into the child pose. Take one deep breath. So, now, we're gonna go to supine position. Lie on your back. Bring your legs 90 degrees. The challenge is to keep the knee over the head. As soon as you do this, your abs are turned on, hands above the kneecaps here, inhale, extend your left leg, right, left leg with, your right, with your right arm, inhale the opposite, imprint that spine into the floor and while you extend from the core. If that's too much, lift the head and shoulders. So anytime you, you're sending your legs, the source is working. So you can you can come a little bit lower as long as your lower back will come will stay on the imprinted imprinted and the on the mat. Exhale, inhale. 
You can keep your head down, it's, it's your choice. So, here we're, we're hitting the, the TVA, the transverse abdominis, which is a core muscle. Sorry. Another five more both sides. So as I told you, always listen to your body. If you get too tired, you can take a rest, take a breath and just go back. Finish the, finishing the set. Be mindful of your body always. And listen to your low back. Always keep it imprinted. Now, shake it out. Take a deep breath. Now, lay on your side. So, bring the top leg forward. Bottom leg. Grab the anchor. You can either put your hand, your head on your head or position yourself this, this. So from here, push the pelvis forward once again. Hips should be stacked uh, one uh, on the other. This gets to your quad that is connected to your hip uh, flexor called rectus femoris. So, we're stretching, we're holding our leg, our leg from the anchor. So, the hip flexor is connected to the brain. Whenever we are releasing tension from the hip flexor, we are, we are relaxing our, our whole body. Now, switching sides. Lay down on your side, supporting your head if you need to. So bring the top, top leg forward, bend that bottom leg, hold it, hold it in your, hold it in your anchor, not the foot. Allow your body to relax in this position and push your pelvis forward, engaging your glutes, making sure that there is no stress in the low back. Tune into your breath. So, just make sure that you keep keep squeezing your glutes and and uh, getting your pelvis forward to feel more stretch. Lengthen out, working with your body as the tension releases. <coughs> Move that stretch a little deeper with, with each inhale. One more deep breath. And release. So, back on your stomach. We're going to do one more set of the back extension with the dead, with the dead bugs. So, feet shoulder, uh, shoulder widths apart, externally rotated from the hips. So push your hands down, draw the shoulders blade back, Arm, arms in W position, inhale, lift and contract, squeeze, release, three, squeeze, release, four, squeeze and release, five, squeeze and release, Squeeze and release. Seven. So always keep the chin tucked in. Your, so you're lengthening from the back. Eight. Nine. Ten. So last five. Four. Squeeze, three, squeeze, two, squeeze the glutes, and last one, so, 
here we we finished this part and go good chart pose relax don't take too deep breaths and bring it up now we're gonna do the dead box the last set legs 90 degrees knees over the hips connect the pelvis into the ground inhale extend through the left side move on the exhale so exhale so you, you move into the exhale to deeply uh, contract the core So you can modify, you, you, can, you cannot extend too far. You can place your head down. Sorry, I'm doing something wrong. So another 10. One, two, point the toes. Three, four, five, Six, stay focused, seven, try and finish it, but stay mindful of the lower back. If you feel tension, stop, listen to your body, and last one, and you're done. Roll the head side to side, take a deep breath, tap the toes, shake yourself. Now we're going to release this whole movement series to reset you. So place your, your legs on the mat, open your arms, point at flex the toes, shift the body. You can close your eyes here and bring your tension and intention to the breath once again. When the head says yes, that's, um, that's a sign of a relaxed spine. Releasing all tension and the spine. Melting into, into the movement and the moment. Let's go three more deep breaths. Moving that stuck, stagnant energy. And let's go two more. And through the nose, out through the nose. release your feet, open your eyes, reach overhead, roll up, one vertebrae and then up. Let's share the, this last breath together, reach up, inhale, 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 exhale. Thank you so much once again, I'll see you in the next video, hope you, you enjoy it.